Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a few minutes and talk to you about some more inspirational things rather than just fashion and modest clothing. And so I wanted to just share with you something that I heard a couple days ago that was really cool and it has kind of um, inspired me a little bit and so I decided to inspire you in return hopefully and give you a little something extra for your day. So I was watching another Pentecostal YouTuber's channel and I will link it down below also so you can go check her out. But um, she had a kind of just a talking video where she just kind of expressed a few thoughts and answered a few questions. And she has really cool outfit of the days too, but she likes to throw in inspirational videos and more of things relating to like your relationship with God rather than just what you wear and stuff. So I thought that was really cool. I really like her videos. And like I said, you can check her out down below. But she was telling about this story that she heard. Uh, that's a true story, apparently. And so let's just get right into it, I guess. Um, this farmer, he uh, was an older farmer, and he was kind of poor. And so he lived like a while back. And he had an instrument, um, let's just say a violin, because she didn't say what instrument it was. But it was something that had to be tuned, so I'm just going to say a violin. And he, um, he couldn't tune it by himself. Apparently he didn't have a piano or anything, and he didn't know how to tune it. And so he just called the radio station, and because he loved playing music, and he was a farmer, so he um, loved to play music, and he wanted it to be on tune. So he called the local radio station and asked them if they could play a specific note every day at noon, so he could just match the note and make sure that his instrument is in tune. And um, so the radio station would play it every single day at noon, this certain note, and he um, was able to drop everything that he was doing. He was a farmer. So, you know, he might have been on his tractor. He might have been out with, you know, the cows or whatnot. And so he just dropped everything and ran over to the radio with his violin, let's say, and um, just took time out of his day, dropped everything, and made sure he was in tune. Now, that definitely goes into the more of the spiritual realm, too, because I think that that's really cool that someone would, um, first of all, that's, that's a really, really nice story just by itself, but it's definitely deeper than that, and it's not just about a guy tuning a violin. It definitely relates to people um, just dropping whatever they're doing and making sure that they spend time with God and making sure they're in tune and in line with what they need to be in line with. And so I thought that was a really good story, and it's definitely inspired me to take time every single day and make sure that I pray and just, you know, do what I need to do to make sure that I'm in line and I'm in tune with what God has planned for me. And so, like I said, that's a really cute story. And um, the lady that was telling it had a really good video. I'll link that video down below too. But definitely go check it out. Her video, her videos um, on her channel have kind of changed their name. It was um, Inspired Mod Modesty, and then now it's More Modesty. So the channel name has changed, but I will find it and link it. So I don't, I'm not, gonna, don't quote me on what her name is right now. So I'll put it down below when I find it. And hopefully you guys got a little bit of something out of this video. And hopefully I inspired you just to take a little bit of time out of your day and drop everything and just spend time with God and do the things that matter and things that will count in the end. So I will see you all next time. And hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will catch you later. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will be talking to you guys soon. Bye.